Ripping stuff, watch us. Health cabin, fastest unboxing. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? This is Vaping Device Unboxing Vlogger Austin from Health Cabin. It's been a long time to be sitting in front of the camera and produce my unboxing video. But here, I'm back here again, and I will keep producing unboxing video on our YouTube channel, Health Cabin. So today, I'm bringing a brand new sub on mod from Smoke, the Smoke Arc Fox. So today I'm having the Arc Fox kit from Smoke. So here is how its package look like. If we open up its package, here we can see that this mod is IP67 gritted, waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof mod. If we check out the specs on the side of the package, we will know the liquid capacity is 7.5 ml on its tank, and it's using a mesh coil. The temperature control mode, which is TC mode, is available on Arc Fox mode, and the maximum output voltage is up to 230 watts, and the screen on its mode is 0.96 inch, and it's using a Type-C charging cable. Now. Let's check out its package. If we open up the box, we will see the Arcfox mod. The color I'm having for today is the gunmetal one, and there are totally six colors available on Health Cabin website. And if we open up the package, we will see a TFV18 tank, a spare bubble glass, a pack of spare o-rings and a Type-C charging cable and there are totally two coils in the package one is pre-installed in its tank that is 0 0.330 mesh coil it's weighted between 80 to 140 watts that is a single mesh coil and the recommended wattage is between 100 to 110 watts. And here is a spare coil. This is a dual mesh coil. It's rated at 80 to 140 watts, but recommended to use between 100 and 110 watts. This is a 0 0.150 mesh coil. So here are the two mesh coils. Here is its TFV18 tank. The capacity with its bubble glass tube is 7.5 ml with the single mesh coil. But if you're using the dual mesh coil, the capacity is minor. It's probably 7 ml. If we open up the top, here is its 810 drip tip. It's replaceable. And here is the contraption. If you press on the contraption in here, you can open up the top cap and you can see the filling port on the top. Here is the filling port. It's pretty wild, so you can easily fill your tank with a liquid. And then we press it down. If we open up the base, here is the airflow control ring. You can spin this airflow ring to maximize the airflow as you need it. On the bottom, here is a gold plated 510 thread. And if you scroll it down, you can replace the coil. So here is the pre-installed single meshed coil. It's V18 and it's rated at 100 to 110 watts and the resistant is 0.33 ohm. You have to scroll it down to replace the coil. So here is its base. And then we screw it up. So this is basically how its TFV tank look like. This tank is also being used on the Morph 230 mod. And now let's check out its mod. Now let's check out the Arc Fox mod. Here the Arc Fox mod from Smoke. When I first saw the mod, I thought it looks pretty similar to the Legend mod from Geek Vape. If I put them together, don't you think they look pretty similar to each other? Especially the leather pattern and those exposed screws.
but they're pretty much different, especially on the firing button. On the Legend from Geek Vape, here the only a small firing button, but on the Arc Fox, it's actually the entire key on the side of the mod. And if we check out its detail on the front, the 0.96 inch screen, and here are the wattage up and wattage down buttons. On the back, here the Arc Fox logo and it says designed by Smog. And the Type C charging port is done in rubber seal. And if we looking down the mod on the button, here the battery compartment. We press on the contraption to open up its battery compartment. And this mod is powered by two 18650 batteries. So you need to purchase those batteries separately. And here the battery cap. So through the battery cap, you will know the position of your battery and it fits decently. If I shake it, if I shake it, here is no rattles. On the top, here is its 510 base. The diameter of its base is 30 millimeter. So if you fit a 26 or 28 tank, it won't fit rigorously. And then we do five clicks to turn the device on. On the screen, we will see the battery statement, the mode statement, the current output voltage, the coil resistant, the voltage, and the puff counter and the firing time counter. If we want to lock the wattage adjustment, we need to press simultaneously on the wattage up and wattage down buttons. And then the output wattage is locked. If we want to clear the puff counter, we have to press on the firing button and wattage down button simultaneously. And then we can clear the puff counter. On the Arc Fox mode, you can switch the mode between power mode and temperature control mode. To switch the mode, we do three clicks on the firing button. And then you'll be able to switch the mode from power mode to temperature control mode, t nichrome, titanium, and then standing steel. And you can adjust the output voltage in between 5 to 230 watts. The maximum output voltage is 230 watts. So then I'm gonna fill the tank with the liquid and let's vape it. Alright, so now I fill the tank with the liquid. The liquid I'm using is from WDG. The flavor is electronic drink. It's 3 mg and VG to PG is 70 to 30. Now let's vape it at 106 watts. And for both of the batteries are fully charged. Now let's vape it. It has a pretty huge vapor production. I'm pretty satisfied with this single mesh coil. And for this TFV18 tank, this is a tank that I used the most since the Morph 2 released. So I start started using it since January of 2021 and I've been using it for four or five months. And for the reasons why I like this tank, there are several reasons. First of all, I like the way how to fill the liquid. It's pretty convenient to move the top cap. And then for its capacity, the 7.5 milliliter capacity can last me for a long vaping time. So I might fill it once or twice a day and the 7.5 milliliter capacity can last me for a long time. Even I'm vaping at maybe 110 or 100 watts. And for the device itself, the Arc Fox mode, I like the way how its firing button was designed. And for this Arc Fox mode, you can also bring it to do some outdoor activities because it's IP67 gritted, dustproof, waterproofed, and shockproofed features. 
Alright, this is an unboxing video of the Arc Fox Mode by Smoke. It's now available on Health Cabin website. If you want to view more products, please visit our website or follow our YouTube channel. If you want to view more details about Arc Fox Mode, you can scan the QR code on the right side or click the link down below. Don't forget to click the notification bell for timely notice. Thanks for your watching. This is Austin from Health Cabin. Beeping stuff. Watch us. I will see you soon in my next video.